Alright. Alright. I'm gonna get crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. When I move, you move. Just, Just like that. that. When I move, you move. Just, Just like that. that. When I move, you move. Just like that. Welcome to Miami. Whatever comes to my mind at that moment. I like that. Can you tell me how to start So the world told me that I was dumb and not smart when I was a kid. Because I couldn't read like everybody else, and I was at the one percentile for reading in the country. I wasn't good at sports. I was a big boned kid, so they called me fat all the time. That's what the world said. I said, no, nah, I'm gonna go design my own world. So I worked my butt off. I put 26,000 hours into training to be a pro fighter. I kicked people's butts for a living, and I, got, I figured out how to become resourceful so I could get what I want. That's the best thing about America. Like where we're going this weekend in India, you can't do that. Can't do that in some country. In probably fifty percent of countries in the world, like you guys are the richest one percent of the world right now. The kids in India, they don't have a dollar in their pocket. They don't have brand new clothes. So at the end of the day, we have every single like I looked at this and I'm like, wow, I don't have the richest parents in the world, but I got some food every day. Like, how do I figure out how to get what I want? And then I design my life. What do you think? Oh wow, that's what? Like in India, you wouldn't have a nice shirt and hair like that. You wouldn't have hair. Extra hair, Jay. You wouldn't be able to get mayor for the day. There's no opportunity like that. Like in India, where I was at, there's no opportunity for that. It's a caste system. If you're poor, you're poor for the rest of your life. If you're rich, you're rich for your life. Oh, yeah. In India. So that's the way you can't like change it? You can't marry somebody, they marry at the level. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can't marry a rich kid. Like here in America, you can marry a rich dude, or you can be brought into a family, or you can build a company. India, no. You're poor, you're poor. You know in, you know in China, why everybody's so, like you see a lot of pale people? You know it's not good to be like, like if you're white there, it's not good, or if you're Asian, here you go to tanning beds, right? You go to the beach. Mm -hmm. You know, over there, it's the opposite. The rich people are super white. Because the poor people work in the fields, and they're tan. Like, the whole system shifts. So what's great is, is you guys have an opportunity every day, like I do. I, I mean, where am I? I'm going to Dr. Oz's charity with Health Corp next week in, in New York. I'm flying to India. I'm spending 32 hours, 33 hours to get to Dr. Oz. I'm spending 30 hours there. Or, uh, not Dr. Oz. Uh, uh, Dalai Lama, then I'm spending 32 hours to fly back, then I'm going to New York on another flight, right after I get off the flight from India, literally, I walk off, put on a suit, and fly to New York, and go to dinner. At a gala, you guys have a gala, 200 people? Uh, 500. 500 people? What does it cost per ticket to go use it? $1,200. For one ticket? For one, for one plate of tickets. For one plate, $1,200. Uh, where is that? In New York. <laughs> I went last year, it's very fancy. It's very fancy. And, and at the end of the day, like we were, Magic and I and Alyssa, we were just with Dr. Oz, like, for three hours. He was three hours a couple days ago, and we went to go play ball, and we were talking about how to change the world together. We were talking about different methods, different ideas. In other countries, we don't have that, like, that opportunity doesn't exist necessarily. Yeah. Usually, we go to I work, I work, I work, and what can I bring you? A lot of time I ask them, like the Dalai Lama, I went to their Young Buddhist, Youth Buddhist Society of India, and I said, I want to partner one of my schools next year with your school. I want to help fund your school forever. And they're like, I'm like, I don't want to go get to know the Dalai Lama, I really want to put his name on it too. They're like, okay. Because those guys appreciate his resourcefulness. He doesn't need to have the money. He doesn't need to have the resource. Because people appreciate him because he's resourceful. 
and you're all resourceful. Stop thinking about the fact that we don't have the resource because not having these resources only make you more resourceful. And then one day when you do have those resources, you'll know even more what to do with them. Why? Because now you're also resourceful. Like Jade, if you just sat at home every day and said, I want to be a dancer. I want to be a dancer. And you just you never danced? Would you become a dancer? No. So what do you need to dance? Practice. And then you can literally go outside and dance, right? Like what does it take? Dedication. Just show up and dance, right? You can do it outside, you can do it at the park, you can do it in the dance room. It doesn't matter where you dance. You can be the best dancer and never have a dance dance room like in there with glass and everything else, right? You don't need that stuff. But it's the passion and the desire. So you can choose, okay, I'm going to have the passion or choose not. But the people that you hire in your life are all going to be filled with passion. Because you're going to identify and you're going to say, I want, if you have 100 employees of passion versus 100 employees that have half in passion or 100 employees that have no passion. Totally different result. Uh, not only the performance, but the money you can bring in and the actual brand that you're going to build. So if you have 100 people with passion, think about how much work you'll get done every day. Because Michael used to work for the jails, and he used to sleep at his juvenile hall. He hated it. He used to have to work with that guy right there. Like, every day. Like, that guy was the king of the hill. Like, that guy literally was a shot caller in there. If, if you wanted to move something, you talked to him. Like, he, he made 30 other people move. The only reason I got to the juvenile hall and actually transformed it is because I got him to understand the value to become passionate. And the only reason that was is because I brought the president of the teachers union of the state of Florida in, and she talked to him, and he goes, hold on, you got something. Like, what do you got? And he recognized from other people. That's why I bring so many people in. Because you guys are going to click with some people and click not click with others. But when you click that one day and you get it, you're like, wow, now I can do this. Now I can be mayor for the day. Now I can hang out with a U.S. Senator or U.S. Congressman. Now I can get invited back by the mayor and do something else. Now I can start my own business. Now I can get a job with children's shots. That's only in one year. How much did you do last year? <laughs> That's in one year. Wait till, wait till I, like, wait till you're, after you graduate. Yeah. Do you know how you just said, um, you got to be passionate to do something. Can I just say, for dance and singing, so you can do that. But if you want to be like a vet or a doctor, you can't just walk up like you have to actually. Passionate, huh? So it's but you can't though. So it's process and result. So if you're here and you want to be here, right? Mm -hmm. So the process, I look at life as not the result. So if you go say I want to go make money and then you go make that money, are you gonna be happy? You just made the money, right? Now you're like, I need to go make more money. Like every rich guy does things for two reasons. It's purpose or profit. People live their life on one of those two. Like, I want to live here, but I'm going to I'm going to get this. So like Chick-fil-A versus Burger King. Burger King, you walk in, they're like, can I take your order? Chick-fil-A, they're like, hey, what's up? How you guys doing? Come in. Like, it's all purpose driven, right? It's all fun. So at the end of the day, their purpose, but guess what? They still get paid. They get paid better. They get bonus. You can own a Chick-fil-A. You worked there for five years, you can buy into owning a Chick-fil-A. If you work in our schools, we can track you three years so you can own a school. Own a part of a school. Wow. Yo! This dude here. 